the preface entitled Understanding Poetry. Understanding Poetry by Dr. J. Evans Pritchard, PhD. To fully understand poetry, we must first be fluent with its meter, rhyme, and figures of speech, then ask two questions. One, how artfully has the objective of the poem been rendered? And two, how important is that objective? Question one rates the poem's perfection. Question two rates its importance. And once these questions have been answered, determining the poem's greatness becomes a relatively simple matter. If the poem's score for perfection is plotted on the horizontal of a graph, and its importance is plotted on the vertical, then calculating the total area of the poem yields the measure of its greatness. A sonnet by Byron might score high on the vertical, but only average on the horizontal. A Shakespearean sonnet, on the other hand, would score high both horizontally and vertically, yielding a massive total area, thereby revealing the poem to be truly great. As you proceed through the poetry in this book, practice this rating method. As your ability to evaluate poems in this manner grows, so will you. So will your enjoyment and understanding of poetry. Excrement. That's what I think of Mr. J. Evans Pritchard. We're not laying pipe. We're talking about poetry. I mean, how can you describe poetry like American bandstand? Well, I like Byron. I give him a 42, but I can't <laughs> dance to him. <laughs> now, I want you to rip out that page. Go on. Rip out the entire page. You heard me. Rip it out. Rip it out! Come on. Rip it out! Thank you, Mr. Dalton. Gentlemen, tell you what, not just tear out that page, tear out the entire introduction. I want it gone. History. Leave nothing of it. Rip it out! Rip! Be gone, J. Evans Pritchard, PhD. Rip! Shred! Tear! Rip it out! I